What if I told you you can buy any car you want, including this Tesla Model X car, for $150,000 and only pay less than 2% in interest, which is around $190 a month, which is literally less money than I spent on coffee every single day. Well, I don't really drink coffee and $190 worth of coffee every single day would be insane. If you're doing that, I recommend you stop. And on top of that, 99.99% .99 of my subscribers think that this Pentagon Federal Credit Union is the best credit union in the history of credit unions. But if you really wanna find out how this Pentagon Federal Credit Union actually works from credit cards, auto loans, mortgages, student loans, like whatever it is you wanna find out, I'm gonna call customer service in this video and actually test them out and ask them all the hard questions, including why they have so many bad reviews online. I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bad reviews and I'm pretty sure no one has ever asked a customer service like why they have so many bad reviews. And that's one of the reasons I actually want to call them and actually test them out to ask them all these hard questions that nobody else is asking. Now guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tanya Bryce. I'm an accountant and I've been practicing personal finance for the past four years. And on top of that, most of you guys that are new to this channel probably don't know this, but I'm not biased when it comes to any company. So I always ask them the same questions, try to figure out every single detail. I'm not biased, okay? Because the only thing I'm biased about is getting the best rate and the best return on my money and getting the best value. You. So I recommend if you have any loyalty to any company that's not giving you the best rate, I recommend you lose that loyalty and go where the best rates are to get the best return on your money. Now guys, I do post videos every single day on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. So whenever I upload a video about credit cards, credit units, or whatever they didn't teach you in school that wasn't so important, you actually be the first one to actually get notified and watch the video. Because I hear a lot of people tell me, tell me, when are you going to upload? What time is it? I upload every single day but the time is a little mysterious. So if you have notifications on, you get notified whatever time during the day I actually upload. 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., like whatever time in that day that I upload, you're gonna get notified and you'll be the first one to actually watch the video. So make sure you turn on notifications. Now guys, as always, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know in the comments what you think about the Pentagon Credit Unit before I start the video, because I wanna know what you think first, and then after the video, I want you guys to reply to that comment and let me know what you think of it now that you know all this information. And if you remember, let me know in the comments down below if you like it or if you don't like it. And then after I actually do the video, let me know if you still like it or if you still don't like it. It. I'm very interested to actually find out what you actually think and how your opinion actually changed throughout the video. Now guys, let's get right into the meat of the video and what we usually do is we call customer service and I usually pretend to be someone that I'm not. For example, I would say like, oh my gosh, I'm married. I'm gonna put a ton of money into this account. Make sure you get me the best customer service out there. And it always works. But in this case, guys, we're talking about the Pentagon and military service and then government employees. So I don't really feel cool with impersonating someone that's like a military or like a Navy SEAL or whatever you are. I'm not gonna do that but I will call in as if I'm representing someone that is part of that entire thing and say so like I'm a financial advisor and then call in so I can get special, special, special treatment and actually go through to the best customer service. I can actually rate it to the highest stance. So let's go. Now, the number is 1-800-247-5626. It is supposed to be 24-7 customer service, so let's test it out. That's why I'm calling at 7.15 p.m. rather than in the morning where I know there's gonna be a lot of people there. So that's why I'm calling right now. Welcome to Penn Fed Credit Union. Please hold while we transfer you to the next available representative. Usually it only takes me one minute to actually get put into a representative. So let's actually see how long it actually takes me to get put through to someone that's real and not a robot. So far I've been waiting for three minutes. This is the longest waiting period that I've ever had with any customer service whatsoever. So I'm kind of disappointed right now, but let's see. I'm still waiting. I'm going to wait a maximum of seven minutes. If they don't put me through, then that's not great customer service at all. I don't care what time it is. When you say 24-7, it should be 24-7. And just so you guys are aware, last time when I called literally like the worst companies, like the worst credit unions, like they all answered pretty, pretty quickly. And even Navy yesterday, they answered like pretty quickly, like less than one minute. But these people have me online for like the past, like, what is it, like six minutes? Thank you for calling. Penfed. My name is Jeffrey. How may I help you today? Hey, Jeffrey. My name is Tommy. I'm calling in on behalf of one of my clients. I just want to find out if it's a good fit for him. Yesterday, we called Navy, um, Navy Federal Credit Union, and we just called in. And we're kind of like just shopping around, seeing who has the best offers and stuff like that, so he can um like start banking with a credit union because he's very interested in it. Sure. Uh, so I'm sorry for uh, so we're just essentially kind of shopping around. We're looking for some interest. Yeah, exactly. So what I, what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to do now is just like call you guys in, ask you a few questions if that's cool with you, Jeffrey. And find out if it's a good fit for my client or not. Sure, of course. Which uh, which types of loans are we looking for? Well, not just loans. He has um, he he wants. He, we actually want to ask like a few questions about like the check-in savings, CDs, oh, um, okay. mortgage rates, auto loans, like all that type of stuff, just so you can get a a, a good idea of how everything works and how competitive you guys sure. actually are. Sure. Sounds okay. like a plan. I'll be um ready. 
Awesome. So um, can you tell me a little bit about the requirements? Uh, so to join up with PenFed, we have open enrollment. So we put $5 into a savings account. And that's what keeps your membership open within. Uh, from there, you are eligible to apply for any of our other financial services, checking, uh, mortgages, auto loans, personal loans, credit cards, all that good stuff. Okay, awesome. Uh -huh. And and to be able to become a a, a pen um, a pen fed member, like what what does he need to have, like be, for example? Nothing. It's open enrollment. It's open enrollment, so you don't even have to be like military or anything or, or anything like that. Nope. So you just deposit that five dollars. You guys hold it. And and then that's how you guys like um do the, the like the entire thing. Yep, that's it. That's oh. the share. That's your share of the credit union. So yes, then you're a member. Oh wow, that that is awesome. So it's like, it like much easier. Yeah, much easier because everybody has the opportunity to actually join. And we did. So we do. Of course, you know, we are primarily military men and women and their families. So we do. We do have some extra advantages if you are military yeah, in regards yeah. to you get some extra rewards on certain products that we offer. Okay. But for I mean, that just gives you, there are other ways to get those exact same rewards, so it's not exclusive. Okay. And is there any, like, credit checks when he opens up, like, a check-ins or a savings or anything like that? Or is this just, like, credit checks, like, when he's doing, like, applying for a loan and stuff like that? Uh, so we do use uh, credit checks to uh, verify identity. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're probably familiar with the USA Patriot Act. Uh, so we do that with all account opening or loan applications. We always have to have consent. Okay, so it's uh, like a soft inquiry, not no big deal, right? No, it is a hard inquiry for the first uh, so we are de our system is designed to use the same inquiry for three months, so that way we're not doing multiple hard pulls because, of course, we don't want to hurt your credit. Yeah. Uh, but we do a hard inquiry um, to open up the membership, and then any accounts from there uh, always have to have consent, but there's a good chance we're not going to have to use the same, or we're not going to have to do another one. We just use the same report. Okay, so for example, if, he's, if, he's, if we were to open up an account today, you guys would do like a hard inquiry just to get all that information in. And then every three months, you guys are saying that you guys would um do another one just to make sure everything is in good standing? No, no, no. We would do, um, uh, we, we don't do the, the hard, hard inquiries on, on our own. If you were to open the account today and then tomorrow try to open up a checking account, we have to have consent review credit, but it is designed to use the same hard inquiry for three months. Oh, so okay, I see. So five months and apply for something that would pull credit again. Okay, so for oh, all right, I see what I'm saying. I see what you're saying. So basically, yeah. if he applies for for um for a, a, a check-ins today, you use the same information you you did already with that hard inquiry once. But if it goes beyond those three four months, then you guys are gonna do like a brand new one just to make sure everything is fine. Exactly. Okay, awesome. And then how would he go about um for example depositing cash and stuff like that? Well, there's a couple different ways. Of course, electronic versions. We have the ACHs, so the account is open. Or ACH, um, you know, incoming, outgoing. We do also have mobile app deposit. We also have ATMs. We're part of the co-op network and the all point network. Okay. So all pretty point, much a, a, across the across the nation, you have CVS, 7-Eleven, lots of different credit unions, lots of different ATMs. Okay. And our website and our mobile app actually have ATM locators okay. and branch locators. Awesome. And are there any fees associated when you um are depositing cash? Because I've have heard about some people, for example. When you go to use like to like an all point, um, like for example, Rite Aid, and you're trying to deposit some money, like they charge you like maybe five bucks to deposit. Is it just free okay. for you guys? No. 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 We don't do that. Nope. Awesome. And talking about deposits, are there any limits or um any limits like when it comes to depositing? Um, it yes and no. Uh, there is a limit when we're talking about like mobile deposit. Um, mobile deposit is five thousand dollars per uh a day on the check. Okay. Um. The mobile deposit would not be available for the first three months. It, cut, it helps cut down on fraud. Yeah, first so, three months, cut down on fraud, okay. Yeah, the, right. The first three months, we don't have access to mobile deposit, but then after that, we're able to do so. Yeah. Um, ATM deposit, nope, doesn't have a limit there. You can make cash deposit or check deposit. That's fine. Right. Um, we do also have a number of branches. Uh, we do have a branch located in New York, awesome. uh, actually downtown Manhattan. Yeah. Um, uh but no, there's not necessarily a limit. So now, there could be a hold on anything over a certain amount, you know. But for example, for example, like what what um what amount would there be a hold? For example, if my client goes um opens a check-ins account and he, he wants to deposit like a hundred thousand dollars, would there be a hold on that? Yeah, there would be a hold on some on on the majority of that. The first two hundred is usually available right away, and then the rest of it is subject to you know regular uh, clearing. So yeah, uh, normal five. By business they hold to clear through an ACH, but if it's a wire transfer, those usually are guaranteed funds, so it would only be like a day hold. 
Okay, no, awesome. Or if it's cash, then no, of course there's no hold. If it's a certified check, there's no hold. Yeah, that's what I mean. For example, if he goes to like one of those, um, what is it, like Rite Aid or something like that, he wants to deposit some money and it's like cash he's depositing and he wants to deposit, for example, $20,000 in cash, would that be possible? Like, would there be any hold on that? Or would it be like, okay, it's good to go, it's cash? Um, if you're going through an ATM, the ATM doesn't tell us if it's cash or check. It oh. just comes across as an electronic deposit, so yeah. it would still be subject to hold. So I would not suggest using the ATM so necessarily we, for the large amount. But we use I like a, branch be okay, a branch, awesome. And how many branches do you guys have in total, like nationwide? Uh, nationwide? That's actually a very good question. I don't know the exact number. Let me take a look. All right. Thanks, Jeffrey. Yeah, no worries. Just in the continental United or just all branches in total? In, in, in the United States. Yes, yeah, so we're looking at about 39 uh, branches in the United States, uh, including Puerto Rico and Hawaii. Wow. So are those 39 branches like in, in each like um in each state or is it just like um you no. guys might have like multiple ones in, in each state? So we are primarily based out of Alexandria, Virginia. So that is yeah. where our headquarters is. Yeah. Uh, we do have, uh, so we do have spots. We have a uh, number of branches in Texas, but we don't have any branches in like West Virginia or Ohio. Okay. Uh, we do have branches in New York and New Jersey. Okay. Uh, and uh, Pennsylvania as well. Although I did notice in the beginning, you did say that you you guys accept like ACH transfers. So would it be okay for like um if my client wants to use like um like for example Cash App, Zelle, um Venmo or any of that stuff? Yes and no. Yes, it is okay, of course, to use it. But the way that our system recognizes, since we're not partnered with them, uh, what it does is it treats the transaction. Um, because most of the time you are doing those through the debit card. Yeah. Uh, it treats them like a credit transaction. So it usually takes two to three business days to post. But uh, it is still a lot faster than uh, some types of uh, transfers. Okay, so it, it does work, but it might take a a little a little it, longer than usual. It take a little bit longer for processing. Yeah, okay. it, it, tr it treats it like a credit card transaction, so those take about two to three to post. Okay, awesome. And I did notice that you guys have um on the website, you guys do say that you guys have like some competitive rates when it comes to savings accounts. Can you tell me a little bit about that, please? Uh, yeah, we have our. Um, so, of course, we have uh, our regular share savings, which is just the basic membership account. That one only has a 0.05% dividend rate. 0.05. Um, right. We do also have our uh, premium online savings account, which does have a higher dividend rate, though there is some limitations, mostly accessibility. Okay. Uh, there is... Um, what do you mean by accessibility limitation? Uh, so uh, you can't uh, move money out of the account as much. There is a limit on a monthly basis. Yeah, that's There's, six times, uh, right? Th th right. So that's Regulation D, but we're talking about also an actual dollar amount out oh, of the account. Oh, really? And and how much is that? Yeah. Uh, the premium online, too bad. I believe it's 50000 every 30 days. 50000 um, every 30 days. Right. And the reason why is because that account, while it does have slightly limited accessibility, yeah. Uh, what it has is a 1.98% dividend rate on a fluid savings account. 1.5%. So yeah, 1.98. Oh, 1.98%? Yes, yeah, so a 2% APY. Oh, wow. Yeah, yesterday yeah. when we, we, we called um, um, Navy Federal Credit Union and they basically had one, like I think it was like 1.35%. But yeah. you guys are almost like... um. Like very, like very much higher. And what about the? Do you guys have any money market accounts? So if you guys are offering a one, like almost two percent on a, on a on a premium savings, like what about the money markets? I I I imagine that's like we much do. higher. Uh, yes and no. Uh, oh, by the way, Jeffrey, actually, just not not to oh. backtrack, but on on that premium account, is are there any mi minimums? Uh, it is twenty five dollars to open, but there is no account minimum. Oh, no account minimum, and you still earn that almost like two percent APY. Yep, exactly. Up to there is a maximum. Though, and it is two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred and fifty thousand, which is what um is um what is it? Not FDIC like um insured, but is what is a C? NDA. Oh, okay. NDA. Awesome. And what about um what were you saying about the money market account? Uh, so our money markets are you know they do have a higher dividend rate. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have the money market certificates, um, but they are unfortunately the market has been on the downswing lately for certificate rates. Okay. So they are not as astronomically high our one year is at a 2.23 dividend rate okay. and our seven is at a 2.62 2.62 2.62 can you tell so me a little bit about they, um what a, what a money market account is like what a money market certificate is no not a money market certificate like a money market account okay i mean so yeah so we do have regular money market savings 
Mm -hmm. Um, Honestly, those are just the same as our regular share savings. Okay. The big difference, though, is that it has a lower dividend rate, but it is tiered. So 0.05% dividend rate on amounts 0 to 10,000. Okay. 10,000 to 100,000, it increases to a dividend rate of 0.10. Okay. And on anything over 100,000, there is no maximum for this account. Uh, it has a 0.15% dividend rate. Point. One five percent. So it's so your so your regular premium account is still higher than that one. It is much higher. I okay. would honestly, I would, I would always suggest the premium online. Yeah. Unless we are dealing with, it. I mean, even then, I would say certificates are going to be your better option past two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, like CDs. Yeah, CDs would be better. And can you tell me about? Uh, so, so your CDs, you're saying like your CDs um are the maximum for seven years. Like how much is that? How much is that, does that one pay? That AP that dividend rate is a two point six. Oh, two point six two percent. And by the way, um, Jeffrey, have yeah, because that's 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 a little on the on the low end. Have you guys have any um like like in the previous um maybe year or so? Have you guys had any like higher like savings accounts interest or, or higher CD rates? Yes. Um. So back in January, uh, our one year. So back when uh, back in January December area, um, our certificate rates were over the three percent. Oh, oh wow. Just, unfortunately, they they do go up and down with the market. So when they are high, they are, I mean, even now the, the certificate rate is of course lower, but it's still like about four times the national average. Yeah. Uh, when they are higher, we do try to stay about that four times higher. So okay. we do, you know, as the market heats up, we do increase those rates fairly significantly. Okay. And, oh, by the way, are there any um, limits to how many um, CDs you can open? Nope. You can wow. have as many as you would like. It's a minimum amount of 1000 per certificate. Okay. But there's no maximum in the account. Okay. And, uh, of course, we're still limited by the, the NCUA coverage of 250000 per, okay. uh, per social that's attached. So Question, um, do you guys have, do you guys don't have any promotional CDs right now? Because I noticed some companies like that are offering like, um, like 10 months promotional rates or like 12 month promotional rates on a CD that they're like, they're like very on the high end than usually? No, unfortunately we don't have any promotions, but we also don't have any, um, so we don't have any promotional for like a certain amount of money. We don't have any promotional for there, but we also don't punish for not having as much as others. And for example, uh, what are, what are the, um, the penalties, um, for breaking that CD before the time is, uh, is of, of maturity? Depends on the time frame. If you break your certificate, let's say we went with the example of a seven year certificate. Okay. Breaking within the first year, you lose your dividends. This is across. This is true across the board. Uh, if you were to break the certificate within the first year, yeah, uh, you just lose the dividends that you have generated. So no principal is lost. Okay. So for example, if I open up a CD for one year total, and I break it in my first um, maybe four months, do I lose all the all the all the APR that I've accumulated so far? Yes. Oh wow! Because some companies like what they do you is mean, like they charge you like maybe like right. ninety days or something like that of the, of the interest rate. Richard, and even for like seven years, I've heard companies that I think Navy, when we called yesterday, they do like um for those seven years or whatever, they char- they usually take the interest of um three hundred and sixty five days, which is like a year. But you're telling me for you guys, it's um it's a little bit more different. Well, it is it is the year's worth of dividends, so it is the year APOI if you break within that first year. Um, after that year, it does change. Okay, so for example, if he's doing seven years and he's on his third year, and he wants to break it. Like, what are, what are the penalties attached to that one? So after that first year, what would happen is you would lose 30% of the dividends 30%. that would have accrued if the certificate was left to maturity. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. So still, you, wait, wait, wait. Still, still never to lose principal. Oh, we will, we'll never lose the principal. We'll be, we will use the... Oh, so you're saying that if we... You guys are going to take the interest that would have accrued it for those seven years, not for the... Not that 30% for those um three years, but that 30% for those seven years. Seven. Yep. For the seven years. Yep. Okay. Wow. That's okay. That's a little, that's a little it weird. It is though. a little steep. Yep. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's kind of, yeah. That's kind of steep. And what about, um, are there any fees associated with the account when it comes to, for example, just like, ha- like being a member, have like, not like having a minimum in it. Like, are there any maintenance fees or overdraft fees or anything like that? Only on our checking. Okay. Uh, our, uh, the, the regular savings does not, the checking does have a $10 a month service fee, but there are ways to avoid it. Okay. Easiest, of course, like most institutions, is a direct deposit of 500 or more within a month okay. or a daily balance of 500 Okay, that's, that's pretty good. And I did notice on the website that you guys offer, I think, um, is it, is it point, 
point zero eight percent on the on the check-ins account? Uh, on the checking, it is point um, two percent on balances from zero to twenty five thousand. Okay. And then twenty five thousand to the maximum amount of fifty thousand okay. is a dividend rate of point five, okay. so half a percent. Okay, awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about the credit cards? Because I did notice you guys have like some very low rates when it comes to like compared to like a regular credit card and how and how the and how those rates usually range from. Yeah. Uh, was there a particular one in mind, or just any of them? Yeah, and I mean, I did notice you have like um like the up the upper tier one of things like the Amex one. And you guys offer like four percent on on travel, three percent on dining, and then on the lower end, you guys had one that has like a very low APR. I think it was like um eight point nine nine percent, and it's kind of like. My entire perspective of it was like kind of like a card that you might use to buy like something that's like a, like a big purchase and just pay it over time because the APR is so low. Right. So that would be definitely the better uh, if, if we're not looking for a daily spend credit card. Yeah. Uh, if we do, you know, want something a little bit, maybe a little bit lower on that APR, we do have our our Penfed Gold Visa, which is a lowest APR of nine point two four. That is our lowest APR card. Mm-hmm. Uh, the max APR that Penfed offers, um, or you know, the maximum that we go is seventeen point nine nine. Okay. Seven, seven, yeah, seventeen point nine nine. That's across the board there. And and the on the lower end is like um, what is that? Nine point twenty nine. Uh, nine point two four. Nine point two four. Awesome. And what about that? Um, I did notice you guys have like a cash back card. I think it's like one point five percent. And how does the cash back? Is what? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. That is correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Awesome. And is that is that cash back um available instantly, or is it like you have to wait until the end of the of the statement period to actually be able to like cash out? Uh, so it is per statement. So when it cycles over, that's when it is available for cash out. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, what happens is, is as you make your purchases, it is a flat amount of cash back. So it's not points that you redeem for like cash back. Okay. It is actual dollars, and you can redeem to the penny. Okay. Uh, it just sits in the pool waiting for redemption. And okay. you can increase that to two percent with a checking account, or if you do have military history. What do you, What do you mean by that? So, uh, how I was talking earlier about if you have military service, you do get a little extra reward there. Yeah, that is one of those options. The the power the power cash card the cash back can increase from one point five to two percent if you have military, or if you have a checking account within PenFed, you'll get a two percent. If you have a checking account within what? If you no, if you have a checking account with you guys. Oh wow! So you're so you're telling me, Jeffrey, that if I have, cause of course, everyone that's gonna have this account is gonna have like a like most likely like a like a checkings account also because you guys have like um very good rates in that checkings account. And so you tell me if I have a checkings account and I want to get this credit card, the gold one for the for the cash back, I can easily um, wow, that's crazy. I can easily yeah, just get do- get that two percent rather than that one point five percent. Exactly. And question, Jeffrey, are there any limits attached to that? Um, how much you can actually spend? How much you can earn on the cash back? Nope. Oh, you're no sure? limit and no expiration. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And when it comes to um, no limits, because I've noticed like some credit unions, what they do have is a limit on the amount of credit they usually do give you. Do you guys have any of that? Yes. Uh, so PenFed does have a maximum credit on each card of 25000 Twenty oh, 25000 Right, per card with an aggregate total of 50000 What do you mean with an, with an aggregate? Oh, aggregate total, like if you have like more than one, like... um. Credit card with you guys, like it all has, yeah. has to add up to fifty thousand, like this yep. maximum. Oh wow, okay, that's that's pretty. That's not that bad. If you max out your card and you pay it all back, you're still getting every single purchase, two percent. Two percent. Let me let me check. Let me just do yep. some quick math here. So twenty five thousand times point zero two. So you're telling me I can earn five hundred dollars every single month in cash back. Yep. Yep. And you're telling me I can use this card also for business use. No. No. We do not use. So PenFed does not handle business. Business account. So, for example, if also oh, has to be like personal things. But do you guys um, if I'm buying like office equipment or or things or, or like going on trips or whatever like that, is is that fine or is That's it like perfect for fine as long as it is in your name? Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. So if I'm I can't be buying like materials like um and assets like for for a company it has to be like personal use only. Correct. Okay. Awesome. And what about the balance transfer? Because I have noticed that um with some credit unions like you guys usually don't even charge um like balance transfer fees. So we have two promotions for balance transfers. One is a 0% interest for 12 months with a 3% transaction fee. After after the year, there is no retroactive interest. It would just start accruing 
interest at the normal interest rate assigned at the, you know, on the card. Yeah. So there's no hike in interest or anything like that, uh, but that is that promotion. Okay. We do also have our other promotion, which is 4.99% interest rate for 12 months what? with no transaction fee. On what card? That one is on our Promise Visa card, Promise which has Visa no card? cash back. It has no rewards. So you're saying 4.99%. That's like if you're gonna get like a like a big purchase and you just want to pay it off like like in that in that twelve month period, that's very low. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it is a balance transfer, but yeah, you could definitely do something like that and then get that lower interest or pay the pay the three percent transaction fee, which does sometimes you know might be a little bit cheaper than the four point nine nine over the twelve. Months, yeah. Uh, and then have zero percent interest. Yeah, I do see what you're saying, and either way, it all adds up to like um around eight percent with the transaction fee. And the interest rate free, so it's still pretty low. Yeah, you're gonna be sitting around that three to three to five percent. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And what about the um some army um how do you, how do I it's say it's called the it's called the honors advantage. Yeah, honors it's advantage. What the, it's what the, it's what the term is within PenFed. Okay. Awesome. And 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 who who does that include? Uh, active military men and women and their uh active military men and women or uh honorably discharged U.S. military uh, men and women or uh. National Reserves or National Guard. Okay, awesome. And I did notice, Jeffrey, that you guys have like um, uh, I'm not sure if I read this right, but you guys like have like a 1.49 percent, like when it comes to like buying a buying a vehicle, like a loan. Is that correct? On a brand new vehicle, yes. Is that like for first time users, or is it just like for everyone? That's for everyone. Oh no. So we have so we we partner with True Car for our car buying service. Okay. And if you use that service, you can have a 36 month loan. 1.49% interest on a 36 vehicle. month loan, three years. If you buy a, a 30,000, okay, uh, $10,000. Wow, that's, that's not bad at all. <laughs> that's, that's pretty insane. It is very good. It yeah. is very good, especially right about now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but on but on average, when you guys don't have any promotions going on, what is usually like the like the basic um APR in a car loan? Most people usually, of course, it's a five year loan. If you're looking at new vehicle, lowest interest rate is a 3.49. Yeah. If you're looking at a used vehicle, it's a four point zero four. Okay, awesome. That's not that's not that bad. When it comes to refinancing, same thing. Same thing. And are there any promotions yep. like for refinancing, like that, like that one point four nine percent? No, unfortunately, not re, not promotional. Okay. Not at the moment. Okay. Uh, that could change in the future, but we don't have anything right now. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about the mortgage rates on on the, on your side? I can't actually. I do apologize. I don't. I mortgages uh have their own. Very big department. <laughs> I I don't unfortunately no. know that information. I can get you to a mortgage consultant no. if no. you would like. No, that's fine, Jeff. I, I I really rather stick with you. I'm just looking for some basic information, not like you, like not like to give me like a thirty page contract and stuff like that. It's, it's like it's just like some regular basic information. I, I literally have nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah that's fine. No <laughs> I worries. Do a bullet diet. Yeah, that's fine. And can you tell me a little bit about um? Do you have any information on personal loans, student loans, or? Membership discounts? Yeah, so I do. So personal loans, um, our lowest interest rate is 6.49. Our maximum amount is 25000 25000 And I, uh-huh. I also noticed you guys have like um, no origination fee. Is that for the 10000 or or no origination fee whatsoever? Whatsoever. None of our loans have origination fees. Ever? Nope. Oh, None of them. That's pretty cool. And what about the student loans? Because I did notice you guys have like a three point eight seven percent. Is is that correct? All the uh, way down uh, to three point. So, go ahead. So with the student loans, um, it's actually not PenFed who is. Uh, we 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 house the loan, but we are not the ones actually doing the application or assigning the interest rate. We okay. partner with a couple of services. Okay. Uh, if you are in student, I'm um, sorry, an, an in student uh, in school. Sorry, an in-school student looking for a loan, we partner with Sally May, okay. uh, and they would be the ones taking the loan as well as making payments and such. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is a partnership there, but it is not something that PenFed actually handles. Okay. The uh, other way is if you are refinancing your pre-existing student loans, we work with a company called Purify, Purify. and they, uh, they would handle the application and the interest rate, but payments would be made using the PenFed system. So PenFed okay. houses the loan, but okay. we don't, we don't, uh, we don't really do anything with the application okay. itself. And and are the are the only two options for that are, are um the purified and the other one? That's the only two companies you guys are actually partner like um partnership with. We do have a partnership with Common Bond that offers a membership discount 
on okay. your student loan if you have a membership with PenFed. Okay. But unfortunately, those ones are, uh, again, housed and handled by Common Bond. So it is just a partnership. If you have a PenFed membership, you get a 0.1% discount. Okay. But it is not something that PenFed actually houses or handles. Okay. The reason I ask is because, like, sometimes you, you have um, certain companies that have, like, a whole bunch of partnerships. But they're always looking, like, they're always, like, you know, it's like it's, it can be, like, an ethical an ethical problem there because they're always going with like the, the partnership person, but not the person with the best rate. But what it sounds like right. with you guys is that you guys have like only like really like one option for one, one option for your student, and then one option for something completely different. So it's, it's just like basically like three partnerships and, and then you guys are really focused on those. Right. Awesome. Right. Awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about the membership discounts? Cause I did notice like if you are a PenFed um, member, you could get like tire discounts and a whole bunch of other things. Um, yes and no. So, we do, of course, you know, have our American Express and our Visa cards that, you know, American Express handles getting some extra benefits. A Visa, of course, those are usually fairly common across the board with credit cards. Okay. Um, but if we are talking about, uh, especially with like auto loans, uh, some, I think some Mercedes Benz will give you like a discount if you take the loan with PenFed. Yeah. Unfortunately, those aren't those aren't given by PenFed; they're by the company itself. Okay. So there is a there's a partnership there, but it is not PenFed handling the the that that promotion. It's unfortunately that company that is. Okay. And, and question is, is you give me an idea um, when it comes to that one point four nine percent to get that car, and you're working with um True Car to actually buy the car through them. Do they have like a artillery of like cars, like a maximum of money you can actually spend, or do they have like any car you could possibly think of? Like I'm talking about Mercedes or. Or Tesla cars, do they have those vehicles, or is it kind of like like a more basic, um, maybe thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar car? No, we do. Um, so the, the maximum loan amount is one hundred thousand. One hundred thousand per vehicle. Uh, and then True Car, uh, I, I believe will stick within because it is using our website as the portal for yeah. True Car. Okay. Uh, so it does do it does do uh, continue with that one hundred thousand. Okay. Uh, and there are some cars that will, of course, have more. Uh, than the one hundred thousand, but that's when you would start looking at like a down payment. Okay, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That's 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 pretty fair. So if I was to buy a Tesla for one hundred fifty thousand, I would just be like, all right, here's the fifty thousand for the down payment. Just um, see if right. you can finance the, the. And did you guys did you do you guys do like one hundred and ten percent on financing, or do like one hundred percent? We do one hundred and ten percent of NATA. And what does that mean? Uh, so like Kelly Blue Book, but that's what the dealerships use in the most industry. So uh, data guides. Uh, we do one hundred and ten percent of the. MSRP that Nata Guides provides to us. Okay. Uh, so we run the bin, uh, run the vehicle, run the mileage. You know, essentially get the information, the collateral details, and then what that information spits back out to us as the MSRP, we can do a hundred and ten percent of that. Yeah, kind of like an appraisal of sorts. Exactly, and we can always go with an appraisal, especially with more classic cars. You know, unfortunately, it is not a perfect system. Sometimes a car's value will be much more than what is given to us. We will take an appraisal's value. Uh, over the NADA, so we can still work with this exception. Okay, and what about adding um, authorized users to the account? For example, if my client were to add his wife and like, and then her, well, you can't really do it. She would have to get her own account so you can like get her own car and he can get his own car, like his own car, right? And she just can't be like, an, oh, yeah, okay. An authorized user would just like basically just like have access to like the debit card to use it, but not really like any to sign up for anything. It has to be like through different social securities and all that stuff, right? Okay, awesome. Jeffrey, you've done an amazing job today. Thank you so much for answering all the questions. You're welcome, of course. Anything else I can help with? No, that's about it, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass uh -huh. on this information to my clients. And now that I know that anyone can actually become a member of, of PenFed, I'll actually pass that information on to my other clients because I thought it was just like military at first. No, it's uh, very, you know, it kind of changed about three months ago. So, you know, definitely we're still kind of getting that word out there. So I appreciate it. And um, I hope you have a good rest of your day, okay? Yeah. Enjoy and, your weekend. And, and one last question, Jeffrey. I did, sure. I did notice that um, in the beginning there was like a little, a whole time of maybe like 10, 10 minutes. Is that, is that like, is that normal? Or is it just like maybe today you guys were just a little bit more busy? It's the time of day. Okay. So right now, uh, you know, most people are, uh, unfortunately, right about this time, we are a little bit busier. So we do have a longer hold time. Okay. Uh, two of our service centers close. And then we have the one service center that's able to take those calls. So we're just, you know, suddenly instead of 400 people taking calls, we're doing 200 people are taking calls. So oh, wow. it's just, uh, unfortunately, right about this time, people are getting off work and they're making their calls to their financial institution. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. It's like one of those high traffic times. And those two service centers yep. that's like closed, they closed because of time or they closed because indefinitely? Time. 
Okay, time. Awesome. And also, Jeff Jeffrey, I've been looking because I've been doing a lot of research. And I just wanted to call you guys myself to actually like get a feel for the entire thing. And I've noticed that like, you've had like great answers and everything like that. But I have noticed like online, um, there's a lot of reviews on it when it comes to like the company, like like talking about, for example, that um some people like have um like for example, if my client were to travel. Sometimes like when they call in and they tell their per and 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 that advise the credit card or the debit card saying like, hey, I'm gonna travel, I'm gonna be out the country. Even though when they travel and they give the advisement beforehand, sometimes there is a little error and the accounts do get like um like locked in. Is that is that normal? It's just like a maybe like a one time thing. Because I've been noticing like a lot of reviews that mention that. So it is something that is fairly normal, unfortunately. So our fraud prevention system is just an automatic system. So it, even though we as PenFed can place you know travel remarks and place the card ready for travel, some merchants or some uh, amounts will still trigger a fraud block. And those are usually very easy to unlock. We offer text message verification, so instead of waiting for a phone call, as well as our fraud prevention team is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, mm -hmm. you, uh, they usually reach out to you directly within a couple of minutes to unlock the card, and that way you can continue with your travel. Uh, travel notes are usually the easiest way. Finding out for those fraud text alerts are the second easiest. Um, and then worst comes to worst, if you're still not getting your, your phone call or if you need to call PenFed, we just get you to them, they verify the transaction, and then you're good to go. Okay. So, so it can definitely still happen, yeah. but unfortunately, it, it's just an automatic system. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a better, it's a better, it's, it's like a good problem, basically, because if you did travel, you just call in and in 10 minutes, you're fixed. But if it didn't happen, then you're secured, basically. Exactly. Okay. And what, what about um, when it comes to student loans? Because I, I did notice some um, because my, my client does have a daughter and she's she's just she's just going to college now. And I did notice some reviews saying that um, because you guys like just housed the loan, like they had some issues when it came to like paying down the principal. And there was like an error with that. And, and originally she thought that she was um, actually paying down the, the entire thing. And when she came back and revisited the entire thing, I think she owed like around forty five thousand. And then all of a sudden, like her and she paid down fifteen thousand. And then all of a sudden, like her amount was like higher, like her total amount was like higher than what she originally owed. Is that like you know sometimes like like errors can happen in, in the in the um in the in the in the system? Is that something that you guys are flexible with? Like if an error does happen, do you guys like um like they say oh that was an error on our side, we could just fix it blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I especially when it comes to making payments to principal, um, they're uh, making payment to principal is very easy to do. Number one, if you just make a big payment. Yeah. Any excess automatically goes to principal. That's that's just kind of an automatic thing. It pays off interest first and then goes towards principal. Pretty okay. much how every loan works. If you want to make a principal only payment, unfortunately that is something that you would have to speak with somebody like me, myself would do, but we can do that over the phone and then you're done and then principal only. Uh, if there is an error, which does happen, user error or system error, uh, we will, you know, fix that. We you do we do make that right. Um, okay. I myself have not I've not come across a scenario where, you know, somebody was making payments and then their amount was increasing. That yeah. does seem very strange. Yeah. Uh, but it's not something that I would say would be the norm. Yeah. And is there is is it's like um for example when you do a loan on on, on that student loan when you when you um when you, when you get that loan, because I did notice you said like you they have to call in to make a, a only um principal payment. How does that work Correct. exactly? Because for example, if um. If I'm paying down my credit card and the minimum is like um twenty seven bucks and the the maybe the interest is like ten dollars. If I pay like five hundred bucks, like I would assume like well not assume like that's how it works, but like whatever um money is left over after I pay that interest for that month, like it all just goes into principal automatically. So what would happen if I were to go through the system and make a payment towards my my student loan? Where would that extra money actually go towards if I didn't call you guys in to have that money go towards principal? It's Every time that you make a payment with our system, it will try and pay off the accrued interest first. The accrued interest. And then, right. So interest on a daily basis. Okay. Most loans, you know, have a, have a per diem. Okay. So it will pay off the per diem, you know, the interest that has accrued since your last payment first. Okay. Anything over that automatically goes towards principal. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty standard. Yeah. It's pretty standard. Uh, credit, credit cards are a little different because, of course, their minimum payment has to be allocated certain ways because of the USA, you know, the, the U.S. Credit Act. Yeah. So payments on credit cards are a light, a slightly different, but, yeah. again, you, you know, your minimum payment will usually take care of most of the interest, and then okay. anything past that will go towards paying off the accrued 
accrued interest if there is anything left over, and then automatically towards uh, the balance that will be accruing the most interest. So okay. if you have a balance transfer promotion at a 0% yeah. interest, and you have a purchase at a you know 11.9, it's going to pay off the 11.9 before it touches the 0%. Okay. And, and I, I've noticed, Jeffrey, you've had all the answers to all these things. Like, are, are you like a... Is this like a like a rare thing, or is it just like um you, like all of you guys specialize in all the topics until it comes to like mortgages and stuff like that? Uh, no, uh, member service representatives like myself were trained in uh, pretty much everything on the account side. The only thing that we're not very uh, you know from fluent with, and this can depend depend based on of experience, yeah, um, is the mortgages and the equities. Those mortgages are and equities. Uh, yeah, those are. Usually, they, they have their own consultants. They have their own special processors because there's just so much that goes into them. Yeah, because I've noticed. Um, I, I've called several credit unions, like trying to like um, trying to get like a good deal for my client, and and most of them like have like individual people for everything. And if I would ask like the right. questions that I've asked you, like I would have to be transferred over like 15 times. Right. You have your auto loan department. You have your credit card department. PenFed has our member service reps, like myself. Yeah. We handle pretty much everything. Uh, that's awesome. It's super efficient, also. Okay. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Again, this has been a great conversation. You're welcome. Of course, sir. Thank you so much for calling in. Any other questions while I got you on the phone? No, that's all, Jeffrey. Thank you so much. Have a good day and enjoy, you well. enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You as well. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Now, before I do tell you guys exactly what my thoughts are about this entire thing, I want you guys to actually take the time to comment right now and let me know what you actually thought about that entire conversation. So you got three seconds to actually comment before I tell you my thoughts and I spoil your entire like brain or whatever, right? So you got one, two, three. Let's get right into it. Now, guys, this is what I've noticed, right? And by the way, guys, I love this conversation. It was a very good conversation. Talking to Jeffrey was like talking to someone that had all the answers, like an encyclopedia, and that's exactly what I look for when I'm looking for perfect customer service. And here's why. I didn't have to be transferred 40 times, 50 times, 15 times, not one bit. Only when I asked about mortgages and equities, like that's the only part there, but that's very standard. But every single question I had, Jeffrey had the answer to and that's something that I really enjoy and towards the end you guys can notice also just so I can be 100% honest after I asked him all the sweet questions and everything like that I started asking him the hard questions like hey why do you guys have bad reviews on this on that on this on that and he had very good responses to it which is basically like, hey we make mistakes sometimes there are errors but we're always here to try to fix them and when it comes to like the entire student loans things guys I do want to make sure you guys understand Basically, how it works is they pay off the interest before they pay off the capital. So if you just want to pay off the capital, just call in and make sure you actually talk to them. That's pretty standard also. Well, not pretty standard. I never heard about that. But it's no big deal if you just can call in and actually talk to them because they're only housing the loan. They're not the one with the actual loan and the, and the actual power. So just make sure you call them for that. But what are my final thoughts? What do I think about the entire Pentagon Federal Credit Union compared to the Navy Credit Union, compared to all the other credit unions out there? I have noticed a common trend when it comes to this. Well, either they suck or either they're very, very good. Like there's no really midpoint night right now with all these reviews, but the Navy was incredible. The Pentagon was amazing. And I feel kind of weird saying that because you guys did say that. And I got to start believing you guys more often rather than just believing online reviews. So here's the thing, guys. I have noticed a, a, a little a little theme when it comes to these credit units. And it's like basically when it comes to saving money, you're not going to get the best rate. But when it comes to spending money, you're going to get the best rate. For example, mortgages, um, car loans, credit, um, what is it, like credit cards, student loans. You're going to get the best rates right there. But when it comes to saving money, like savings accounts, money market accounts, IRA accounts, like whatever it is, you're not going to get the best rates out of them right there. Why? Because that's not where they're going to make the most of their money, the bulk of their money. But I have noticed this. For example, they might give you almost 2%, but you can just go with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, get 2.25%. Vero gives you 2.80% if you set a direct deposit. And also BVAA gives you, well, 2.40%. Mm, so there are a lot of options when it comes to saving money. And here's my thing, guys. I always say this. Have no loyalty when it comes to companies. And also something that I did like, guys, is that you can join. Anyone can join just by $5. That's all you have to do. That's your share of the company. And here's the deal, guys. I do want to say this. If you're looking to actually join this entire credit union, join for what it is. They have great products when it comes to spending money, um, buying properties, buying cars, or whatever it is. Like That's great. That's awesome. But when it comes to saving money, it's not the best product. So I don't want to hear anyone in the comments below telling me, well, Tommy, it's all about convenience. I just care about convenience. I just want to be in one place. I don't want to hear that at all. Go to this place for the best products they have. 
go somewhere else for the best products they have. Get the best return on your money always, always, always. And here's something I do want to say, guys. I did find some very funny reviews online. And I found this review about this guy. And it even makes me laugh right now, but it's not really funny. There was this guy. And here's the thing. Companies usually do this a lot. And it's usually not the company. It's kind of like the representative. Here's what happened, right? This guy was applying for a car loan. They told him he was gonna, he was gonna, he was gonna, okay, they told him he was gonna qualify, right? And then what happened is this, he didn't qualify the first time. And then they said, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. If you put your wife as a co-signer, then you're 100% gonna qualify. And he still didn't qualify and his credit score went down like crazy. And that's something that usually happens. So if you ever apply for something and the likely chance of you actually getting, like, getting it is like this, don't apply for it. Just wait until you're in a better place you can actually apply for it and actually get it. And then there's another story. Guys, I have all these reviews in the description down below if you wanna check them out yourself. It's very funny, very hilarious. And here's the thing, there was this guy, and I'm very excited now, so that's why I'm talking so fast. But there was this guy, right? And he got this entire car loan or whatever. And when he got the car loan, you know when you have to like, you have to fax it over to you and you have to sign it and you have to get it notarized and you have to send it back? Well, they forced him to do that like around four times because every single time he would send it, they would never receive it. So he would be sending it, sending it, sending it, sending it. And then at the end of the day, Guess what happened? They upped his interest rate because they never received the documents that he sent four times. What happens then, make sure you have a copy of all the documents you sent and receipts of all the documents you sent so you can have proof when it comes to all this stuff because system errors do happen and if they do happen, you wanna make sure you're prepared so you can cover every single possibility of error. So if you're asking me, Tommy, should I apply to this? Should I not apply for this? Well, what you need to do is this. If you haven't watched my Navy Federal Credit Unit, watch that video and compare it to this one and then pick which one is the best products and then you can apply for it and you can figure out which one is actually better for you. Well, you can't just apply for the Navy one, but you can apply for this one. This one's a very good option, by the way. Pretty good, not gonna lie. I like it a lot, okay? But I do recommend it. It's nice, it's cool but it's not the best. I don't recommend it when it comes to savings at all. Customer service is great, but that can just be an anomaly when it comes to Jeffrey. Jeffrey had a lot of answers, very nice voice, very, very like, very proactive when it came to everything and very patient. Cause I never noticed that he was like getting upset or getting mad or felt like he was getting impatient. Very good job, Jeffrey. Very good job. At least Jeffrey is not like Nate. If you watched my last video, then you know who Nate is. Nate was not the best, <laughs> the best person when it comes to customer service at all. Nate had around 0.0001%, no, well, negative 1% answers. Like he had no answers whatsoever when it came to any topic, even in the topics that he was quote unquote professional and very fluent in. And guys, as always, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think of the entire Pentagon Federal Credit Union. Now, if you're gonna apply for it, if you're not gonna apply for it, let me know in the comments down below because I myself, I'm very I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking about it It sounds very very good and guys as always make sure you like the video if you like the video and Dislike the video if you dislike the video and let me know in the comments down below why you like it So I can keep doing those type of videos why you dislike it so I can stop and improve because I need to improve if I don't improve then I'm gonna be stuck in the same place and you're gonna be seeing the same content that you don't like So let me know in the comments down below what you like and what you don't like and as always guys Make sure you subscribe and when you do subscribe hit that notification bell So whenever I upload a video I, whatever time I upload you get notified and you're the first to know because I do upload videos every single day And if you actually want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, have a conversation ask me any questions about your student loans Like whatever it is just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I always reply. I'm always looking at the comments. I'm always looking at the DMs because I'm here to help. Don't get shy, bro. I'm here to help. That's what I do. So don't get shy. I'll see you guys next time on this video. Thanks for watching and peace. You've got to start at the bottom. If you ever gonna reach the top, you've got to watch all the CG so